But David is saying, I trust this God enough that I confide in him. I can empty myself to him. Yes, God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. I have this kind of relationship with him. I know he's sovereign. I know he can do all things. He is my rock. He is my fortune. He is my deliverer. I can confide in him. I trust him. I know who he is and what he can do. Yes. My God, that's good right there. Yes. God, God, you have to start your relationship with God this way. I know who he is. Or oh, it might look like a breaking loose, but I know what he can do. Yes. And I know that I can run to him at all times and talk to him about anything. Yes. So he has a God who I trust in because he's sovereign and all-powerful. And I know that he is he's the God of my rock and him that I trust. He is my shield, the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior. Amen. It's good, you know. It's good. This might be a strange mess, but it's good. He laid on the foundation. I know God is bad. And I trust him. I'm gonna, he is my protector. So I'm going to run to him. This is my, my relationship with him. He is A number one in my life. But the one thing I'm not going to stay on too long, the Holy Ghost won't let me go on. I can confide in him. I don't have to carry around the load of my humanity. My God. And I don't have to worry about dumping it on him and then hearing it again or being judged. My God, that's good. I don't know if you're getting it, but it's really good. I, I, I can expose myself to him. I can find him. Read on, read on. 31. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a butler to all them that trust in him. For who is God? Save the Lord. And who is a rock? Save our God. God is my strength and power. And he maketh my way perfect. Good God from time. He Yo, yeah, did you have to finish that? Go ahead. 34? No, no, no. I just want you to stop at 33. Here, here, now, let me talk about David, right? Everybody preaching about David. David talking to you about this relationship with God. You can find this in the Psalms also. He say, uh, as for God, his way is perfect. I trust him. I run to him because I know his way is perfect. I may not understand his way all the time, but my trust says his way is perfect. I may not understand why I got to be in this or why I got to go through that. But I'm trusting him so I, because I know that his way is perfect. I just would have been tried. So I have, I have history that this boy works. Y'all understand what I mean here? Y'all understand? He said, he said the, the, I, for, I, I forgot his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler. I know he's going to protect me. Amen. If I trust him. Who is God? Save the Lord. Who is a rock? Save our God. God is my strength. I wish somebody would get here. And my power, and he maketh my way perfect. I don't want to preach here, boy, but let me tell you something. If you want to walk this journey that we in in the church right now, you have to understand it's God whose strength you will need. Amen. Let me call this side over here. If you're going to walk this journey and survive it, if you're going to stay in church in this day and time, you're going to have to understand and be in any type of leadership, especially in leadership, you have to understand that it's God's strength that's going to keep you going. And David is making it clear right here. If I trust in my own self, I'm not going to get this done. This has to be, I have to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Because God becomes my strength. His word has been tried. I have enough history to let me know the word. So that's what I got a testimony. I got enough history to let me know that his word is right. Mm. But this one way of trust, this is Shaka. He talked about the trust that I have in personal relationship with him. I know he's bad. I know his word is true. I know he's going to support his word. And he's my God and I trust him. But the second one, Hallelujah. If everybody got this first part down in your life, you know God bad. You know he's sovereign. You trust him to keep his word. His word has been tried. It didn't always work for you, but you got enough testimony to know that it does work. Say amen. amen. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. It didn't work for you yet. <laughs> because it had not happened yet. I mean, it's not working. It just means that the time of God has not kicked in in your life yet. And David is saying here that I know this word is true. It looks like it ain't working right now, but I know it's true. For God... Who is a rock save our God? God is my strength. What I'm telling you, my God, if I, I can't testify what I'm going through, but the reason I can sleep is because God is my strength. The reason I'm standing here tonight is because God is my strength. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. If anybody has to understand me, say amen. It's because he is my strength. Because I would have been consumed with the stuff going on around me if God was not my strength. If I didn't have faith in him, I'd be going crazy. I'd be, man, I'd be asleep. Or I don't miss no sleep because I trust in God. 
His way has been tried. His way is right. His way is perfect. I might have to gain this. I lose that. But I still trust him. So I'm going to go to sleep. Come on, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? So I flee to protection for him. I confide in him. I know he's awesome. Now the second time of trust, now there's a different type of trust. Second, first Chronicles chapter five. I want to show you all something. I want to show you how bad your God is when it comes to trusting him. See, because God don't think like us. First Chronicles hey, chapter five. God. He doesn't. When see, oh God, when God, oh God, hallelujah. I might preach for another extra 10 minutes. When God makes a covenant with you, that covenant is not subject to change based on you. See, when we make covenants, whether it be verbal agreement or both of our covenants are verbal, you know what I mean? But that we have the people who we who we marry to, who we go with, who we live with, who we work with, we have a lot of verbal covenants. But those covenants are subject to change based on how they treat us. Y'all let me on. You can't admit it because you're in church right now. But the truth of the matter is, those covenants are subject to change when they get on your nerves. When things ain't going the way you want to do, or when you can't control them no more, those covenants are subject to change. Yeah. But God wants me to tell somebody that when he makes a covenant with you, he don't change it based on you. Amen. Because when he made a covenant with you, he knew who you was. He knew what you were going to be going through, and he knew when you were going to be going through it. So he said, my covenant, but I'm not great. Neither I alter the thing that's going forth out of my mouth. That's a promise. Yes, so you need to understand about God that when you get in trouble, he's not going to walk away because you made a bad decision. Amen. You have a second Corinthians, I think it's first Chronicles 5, 18 to 22. The sons, the sons of Reuben, the sons of Reuben and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword and to shoot with bow and skillful in war were four and forty thousand. Seven hundred and three score that went out to the war, and they made war with the Hagarites, with Jator and the Fish and Nodab, and they were helped against them, and the Hagarites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to God in the battle, and He was entreated of them, because they put their trust in Him. My God. Here's what happened. Israel, some of the tribes of Israel, got all their strong people together who they thought could fight in the war. People who could shoot bows, who could fight with sword. Everybody who wasn't a wimp, they got them together. They went and picked a fight with some people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know you ain't never been there. See, they had this much confidence in their God. They went and picked a fight with these nations. And in the midst of the fight, they cried out to God for help. They say, now this word for trust is the word batas, B-A-T-A-C-H. This means to hide for refuge. The high means to run. Sound like Bishop Curry, huh? The high means to run for refuge, to be confident or sure. So they say, now we're going to go pick this fight because you're on our side. Right, right. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to get my straight because I know you're with me. Doing this right. See, that's another type of trust right now. I trust you to be in a relationship with me, but I have so much confidence in you, I'm going to go pick the fight that I need to win, then I'm going to come help me. Based on, oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. See, y'all don't want to know the truth about God. Oh, can I testify? My brother, who y'all seen, who y'all see come here to preach, or, uh, who, who look like he really smaller than me, he used the day to call him the bill. So I'm talking about the midshipman. Rev was back. On our block, Rev was the man. He didn't even have to fight. <laughs> so I would, because he was my brother. I would pick fights. Because I knew. But I said, really? And he opened his door, because he's living in the front of the house. Fight over. Because once his door was open, everything was coming to a close. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear you don't see the testimony I'm giving you. Israel, see, you need to have more confidence in your God. Yeah. They trust him enough to say, we know we're in covenant with you. So what if we go pick this fight? We know when we get in the middle of it, if we call on you, you will have come get Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear We will pick this fight because we won. But we will call on you and we will run to you for refuge in the middle of the fight. And the book says that they won the fight. Because God had treated them because they trusted him. 
Y'all ain't here with me. <laughs> Y'all ain't here. I think I'm losing everybody here. I'm trying to get some confidence into you. <laughs> 